How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having a great afternoon. Being that it's afternoon, it's lunchtime, and speaking of food, today I'm going to feed one of my large snakes. Her name is Kiwi. Kiwi is a green Burmese python. She's an awesome snake. I love Kiwi to death. Don't I? Yeah, you're beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. Um, she does a lot of shows, and a lot of the kids love her too. But I want to go over a few rules and, um, you know, and the pros and cons of having these animals as a pet. For those of you that are thinking about purchasing one, um, I need to tell you this. I never, ever handle or feed one of these animals without somebody else in the room with you. Don't do it. These animals have killed their owners. It's happened. I got my lovely daughter behind the camera here who's here just in case because it is feeding day. And I, if something should happen, she's going to be here to help me out. They get to be Kiwi's a little over 12 feet. So you just can't feed them, you know, rats anymore. You really can't. You know, she's got to eat something like this. This is almost an eight pound rat. This is what Kiwi has to eat, you know, in order to keep the weight on her body. And this is, <laughs> this is a lot of animal for her to eat. And uh, that's what she has to, she has to do it, you know. Otherwise, you know, she's just going to get skinny on you and everything else like that. My wife loves it when I use her towels as far as for uh, you know, my rodents and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'll pull the rabbit out and I'm going to dry it off and of course feed it to Kiwi. They're really great pets. I really do, you know, love these snakes. As far as large snakes go, and they're in the top five most largest snakes in the world, they're, they're really cool pets. They can be gentle giants, but they're also extremely dangerous. Now we're going to start getting into the cons of things. Um, the con is that, you know, she needs a big cage big water bowl, she needs a lot of room. I never, you know, like I said before, you know, I don't want to, you know, ever mess with her or handle her without someone in the room with me. Uh, especially feeding. Feeding's the most dangerous time at all to do it. I work with a lot of venomous snakes, for those of you that know me. I really do. I got a lot of venomous snakes. Um, and I've been bitten and envenomated. Please, never again. But if it does happen, I can call 911. This big snake bites me, gets around my neck, I'm dead. It's that simple. Especially with no one in the room to help me out. Um, you know, not to be able to reach for my phone and call 911 and say, hey, get this big snake off me. Uh, she'll squeeze, I'll black out, and she won't stop constricting until the pulse stops. A lot of people, too, make, um, make a decision on buying these animals. And they're really cute when they're little. They're adorable. And of course, people say, how can you find a baby snake adorable? Well, you know, all babies are cute. But this animal does grow up to be big. And they get huge. You're talking, you know, um, they can get up to 15 or more feet. And, you know, they can weigh over 100 pounds. That's a lot of snake. So, you know, think about it. Because, especially with teenagers that want to get into this, um, like I said, they're cool pets. But let me lay this out there right now and tell you, snakes do not feel love. Snakes do not feel attachment to their owners. They just don't. They don't go that deep. In fact, if I were to jump in here and soak myself down with this rabbit juice and get in her cage, she would attack me thinking I'm her food. You know, they're not they're going to be like your dog, you know, and, and happy to see you when you come home. It just doesn't work that way. But, hey, here's another con. You know, you guys go out and you get these snakes, and, you know, especially young folks, and, you know, you guys are going to move on with your lives. You know, maybe go to college, no room for a big snake. Military, definitely no room for a big snake. Marriage, you know, have a family of your own, definitely not really a good idea to have a big snake. you got to find it a home. People really just don't want them. It's a lot of work. It's It's, it's a... They take up a lot of room, and they require a lot of care. And again, let me remind you, it's a large, large animal. Now, when I go to feed her, the problem I have with kiwi is kiwi is one of my picky eater snakes. Um, so what I've learned to do with her is uh, a lot of my snakes I can take, you know, mice and rats and thaw them out to room temperature, and my snakes will eat them without any issues. Kiwi, however, will not. If I put a rabbit in there and it's just at room temperature, she will not eat it. She'll be interested, check it out, then go in off in the corner and leave it alone. And that's something I don't want. So this is a lot of animal, costs a lot of money, and I don't want to end up having to throw it away. So what I've learned to do that really works great for her is I've been soaking this rabbit in hot water. What I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to let it cool off. I don't want to feed it to her really hot, but keep it warm. I will dry her off with my wife's lovely towel. Well, I'll hear about that later on. And then what I'll do is I'll put on this Hex Armor Glove. And I love these gloves, you know. Um, they're really built well. And what I do is I'm going to grab it, I'm going to hold it by the back of the neck, and i got to make this animal look alive. Because if it doesn't look alive, she's not going to mess with it. 
So I have to make it move, and she'll grab a hold of it. And the reason why I'm wearing the glove, because if she does happen to bite, she's going to bite all in this glove, not into my body, not into my hand. Because um, you're not going to pull away from this animal. But with the glove on, if she does happen to bite and starts wrapping around, I can pull my hand out of the glove. I'll leave the glove in there, and then when she's done constricting, and she's done thinking that her food's alive, then what she'll do is, when she's getting ready to swallow it, I'll reach in and grab the glove and pull the glove out so she doesn't accidentally swallow the glove. I'm going to film this in time lapse because honestly, if I just film this just regularly, it you know she can take anywhere between 35 minutes up to 50 minutes to eat this rabbit, and it's amazing. It is so amazing to watch an animal swallow its food completely whole. Just amazing.